Uh, EPA published a press release today about their new rules will further regulate emissions of air toxins from chemical plants. They're a pretty big deal, so we'd love it all if you could discuss them at some point. Cat, yeah, we um, we headlined that the new rule. It will uh, impact uh, more than 200 uh, chemical plants across the country. They will be required to curb the toxic pollutants they l release into the air. And oh, this is just so woke. Uh, it, the regulation is aimed at reducing the risk of cancer for people living near industrial sites. This is the first time in two decades that the government has tightened limits on pollution from chemical plants. Two decades worth of new uh, pollutants that people could burn and put into the air because it saves them money. Yeah. Understand, whenever you hear about a regulation like this, all that it's doing is essentially saying, who is going to pay for this company's profit? Is the company that's profiting going to have some business expense associated with generating that profit? Or will they be able to offload that business expense onto society in the forms of a bunch of people getting cancer, a bunch of people having health implications, society, maybe Medicaid, Medicare paying for that, aside from obviously the people paying for it in the form of them dying or in the form of them being sick. That's, that, is, that is what the equation always is. So when people talk about these EPA regulations undercutting profits in business and this and that, what they are doing is they're saying, we don't believe these corporations should have to pay to earn their profits. We believe that people around their, uh, their plants should have to pay for their profits. The EPA has classified uh, two different chemicals. Chlor uh, chloroprene, which is used to make rubber and footwear. Mm. That sounds healthy. <laughs> and ethylene oxide, which is used to sterilize medical devices. Uh, they're considered top health concern in an area of Louisiana, so dense with petrochemical and refinery plants that it's known as Cancer Alley. That also sounds quite bad. Yep. Um, I have to hear more. Most of the places uh, that are affected by the rule are in Texas, Louisiana, and along the ghost, uh, Gulf Coast, uh, um, uh, the, the Gulf Coast, and the Ohio River Valley, and West Virginia. Did you say Texas? Yep. That's why Elon Musk is there. Yep. Um, communities, and this is going to come as an absolute shock. This is just after we talked about that study that showed uh, that black people were uh, kept on, uh, a lower on the list of, uh, of their uh, availability for kidney transfers because of, of calculations that uh, basically said they're healthier um, uh, than not. Um, communities in proximity to the plants are often disproportionately black or Latino and have elevated rates of cancer, respiratory problems, and premature deaths. Again, critical race theory. It's not like these plants said, oh, how can we give more black people cancer? How can we give more Latinos cancer? How can we increase the level of asthma amongst black uh, kids? How can we increase the, um, uh, the, or how can we decrease the uh, longevity of uh, black people's lives or uh, Latino lives? No, what happens is they build these plants in areas where they're not going to get the political pushback that they would if they did in wealthier white areas. That's it. And so government steps in and says, hey, um, you cannot offload the costs of you making this uh, chemical, which is used to make rubber in footwear. You can't offload those costs onto these people who live around here. The rule will cut toxic pollutants by 6,200 tons annually, reduce emissions by 80%. Plants will also be required to reduce emissions of four other toxic chemicals, benzene, which is used in motor fuels as well as oils and paints, 
uh, 1 and 3 butadiene, which is used to make synthetic rubber and plastics, ethylene dichloride and vinyl chloride, both of which are used to make a variety of plastics and vinyl products. I mean, there, I mean, uh, there you have it. Um, apparently, in 2022, uh, the EPA began an investigation um, as to whether the state had violated civil rights of Louisiana residents by permitting scores of industrial facilities to operate in and around St. John the Baptist Parish, a predominantly black community. That's how environmental racism works. I remember when uh, AOC said that. Were you saying the plants right. are racist? Right, right, exactly, exactly. It means it means that communities that are poorer, that are black, that are Latino, that are minority, bear the brunt of uh, the uh, emission of waste or the, uh, the, the these plants and what they put back into the environment those are disproportionately in poor black brown communities that's what she meant by that and it's 100 percent right yep 